So we're going to do something a little bit cooler now. We're going to adjust the font. We're going to go to google.com slash fonts. And that is where we're going to add custom fonts. So I'm going to go for one that I've used before. It's called Lato or Lato. I don't know how to pronounce it. <laughs> but we are going to... We'll click the See All Styles, and this shows you all the different styles they have for this particular font available. And they have this Quick Use here, or a Pop Out. I'm just going to go to the Quick Use. So this will take me to everything that I need. So you get to choose which fonts you want. And as you see here, as I click More Fonts, this meter over here on the right will show you the page load time. In addition to just being cluttered design-wise, having a lot of fonts will increase your page load time if you're loading them on every page. So this is why it's best to just choose a couple. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to choose the normal and I'm going to choose ultra bold. That's the only two that I really want to deal with right now. And that is all we need to do. Then we go down here. They give you these a couple ways to embed to your website. They have HTML code. This is where you paste into um, the HTML part of the code. We do not use this because we're do doing CSS right now. We use this at import. All we do is copy this line, this at import line. We're going to go back to our theme options, to the CSS, and actually at the top here, I'm going to add fonts. And this is where we're going to do our font declaration. So all we do is paste that line in there. That's it. Once this line is in here, this font will be imported. And we just have to add this font to the elements that we want it. So since we want to add this font to the entire page, that will be controlled in the body. So just to give you an idea of uh, how that looks HTML-wise, the HTML, there's the head area, which is where all your code declarations are, and the body, which is where the HTML content is. So this is where, as you'll see here, the font family is, is uh, set to Arial, Helvetica, and then Sans Serif. And that's cascading, meaning that if the computer that the website's being loaded on doesn't have Arial, they'll try for Helvetica. And if Helvetica is not available, they'll just do the most generic Sans Serif font on that system. So what we need to do, again, we're going to copy this code. We're going to go back into our theme options, exit out of that, back into the theme options, and this is going to be an all styles, CSS style, because this will be applied to every page on the site. And it's not necessarily the navigation or the header. So we paste it in. We're going to delete this unnecessary CSS. Again, we're doing the same thing. Delete the unnecessary CSS, ending with a curly bracket. We're going to leave this as is because, as I, as I said, it's cascading. All we're going to do is add the Lato at the beginning, comma, and add a space. And the space, again, isn't essential. That's just for readability. But the comma is. The comma is what separates them. So that's all you need to do to add a new font. That's absolutely it. Save options. We go back. We reload the page. And look at that. We have a new font. It's not much different, but it is a little bit different. So. So that takes us through putting together this website. I mean, this doesn't have you know every page or every every feature that you might be looking for, but this is a unique, one of a kind site. I mean, with the customizations that we made, I can almost guarantee that there's no other site across the web that looks like this, even if it's using the same exact theme. And that is the power of using a WordPress theme with customization. You can create a completely unique site that nobody else on the web has seen.